this was initiated by uh, Dr. Rich Fisher, who's a dentist, who is, uh, quote, a mercury-free dentist, and is uh, one of the officials in the International Academy of Oral Medical Toxicology. And he thought perhaps we just were not uh, getting our story across to the FDA and maybe being too combative. So he set up a meeting with the, uh, the chief research scientist, supposedly, Norris Alderson, <clears throat> and uh, with myself and uh, Dr. Vazipotion, both of us, you know, people who have published in mercury toxicity, uh, Louis uh, uh, Chan, who was, uh, uh, again, a mercury toxicology scientist, and uh, two dentists, two other dentists, and we went in there to present to them new data. And I presented, I made up a folder that showed that the uh, children's amalgam trials that was ran by the NIH clearly showed that boys did not excrete mercury nearly as well as girls when amalgam fillings were placed in their mouth, that mercury build up in uh, people with a, a, a heart disease that causes sudden cardiac death called idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy. They have 22,000 times higher level of mercury in their heart tissue and other data. I mean, I had a packet of about 22 relatively new uh, figures, 22 pages, one figure per page, that explained research, and it was uh, published research in scientific journals that we were to give to him, that I gave to him, and went through a quick explanation of what each one of those showed to try and convince him that the uh, uh, amalgam fillings were not safe and that they needed to work at uh, changing that situation. Uh, in the process of talking about it, he, he made a comment uh, that I was preaching to the choir. Everybody at the FDA knew mercury came out of amalgam fillings and they knew it was toxic. And I asked him, why, then why are you not doing, taking some action? He says, well, there are five reasons in the other percent. He says, and the first reason is the commission. And then he stopped. He said, I can't tell you. And of course, that kind of angered me. I mean, the FDA is there not to please commissions or whatever he was going to say, um, but they're there to make sure that the American people aren't exposed to toxic levels of mercury. So he, uh, he, he had no problems about uh, saying that they knew mercury was toxic, that it came out of amalgam fillings. And so I said, well, wh wait a minute. What can we do to make you change your mind, to make you take action? He said, well, first, you can get Congress to pass a bill saying we have to that we have to look at the amalgam fillings. He said, or you can get the American Dental Association to come in with you, and if they agree with you, then uh, we'll do it. And so what it came down to, and I, and I asked him, I said, so you're telling me that the American Dental Association is the one who makes the decision about the toxicity of a product that they made the patent on, that they support, and they're, they're, uh, it's a trade organization. I mean, it's a union, a trade union, uh, that their union members use. And he wouldn't answer me, but that's, that's that's how the meeting kind of uh, ended and with that re on that note. When we were at this meeting that Dr. Fisher set up, we got to meet the people on the dental panel. And, you know, of course I'm, I'm getting old, but they looked like a group of graduate students. And when we asked them what they did and what their level of education was, there wasn't a toxicologist, there wasn't a PhD, there was no one on that panel that I could today identify that had the credentials to, uh, to make a decision about whether or not certain papers were of high quality or low quality with regard to mercury toxicity. Now they seem to be fine people and, and they seem to be concerned, but there was definitely not a, the expertise there that was needed to decide whether something that you're putting in the mouths of hundreds of millions of Americans was safe. Especially when someone like me, and not only me, but many, many other people, including a, you know, a tremendous number of scientists from uh, Sweden, Finland, Germany, Switzerland, Japan, say these are toxic. And it's just, uh, and, and I hate to say it, but I just think these young people are being uh, uh, compromised because they need a job, they have older people there telling them what to do, and they don't have the credentials to stand up and fight. I mean, the American people are being overtly lied to by the American Dental Association and the dental branch of the Food and Drug Administration. It is going to be the biggest embarrassment for the Food and Drug Administration when this all comes out. The rest of the world has removed amalgam fillings by whatever hook or crook they could to get them out. And we're the only one that stands there. We're the, we're the titular giant sitting here telling everybody else, you keep using these amalgams. They're good. They're good. They're good. And they have no proof of that at all. As a matter of fact, there is tons of proof showing that they are causing heavy metal toxicity in Americans.